What is going on everybody? Today I have a slightly different video for you. We're gonna be checking out this baby Model S. So my mom, or as she's known to my huge hungry baby, Nona, actually got this Model S for baby for Christmas, which was really nice and I was very surprised. And this thing is pretty crazy. It has a lot of similarities to an actual Tesla. So I thought I'd share that with you and we would check it out today. So let's start with the exterior. You can see here, it looks just like a Model S. So this little electric car is made by Radio Flyer in collaboration with Tesla. You can see there the headlights are on. There is an older version of this that has the old style front of the Teslas, but this is actually the refreshed look. So as you get close to the front, you can see there is even a grill in the front. Of course, it's not real, but the frunk does actually open and there is quite a bit of room in here. So that stays open. And this is actually the charger that comes with the car. And you can see that this is just like an actual Tesla charger that you would use for your full-sized car. It has the charging brick here, and it even has a little handle that goes into the same spot on the car that charges the car. And this is just a normal uh, NEMA 515 outlet. Unfortunately, they don't give you the NEMA 1450, just like the actual Model 3s now. But you can see this frunk has a lot of room. As you come around to the sides, you can see the wheels. I mean, they just look so nice. They look real. Uh, the only thing that's not great here is that these are plastic, they're not rubber. But I have seen uh, another video, I didn't get to watch it yet, but I saw the title. Somebody did, you know, a little upgrade to make the wheels. I think they made them rubber. If you come up here, you can see that there are actual Tesla panel gaps, just like a real Tesla. So this side, you know, the gaps a little much. And when you go over here, it looks perfect. So it's just, it's so realistic. Coming over to the sides, the mirrors actually fold, just like a real Tesla. They are not automatic. The doors, of course, do not work, but they look really nice. You can see the mirrors are actually pretty functional. Um, the reflection isn't bad in them. You could, you know, I, I think if you're a little kid and you're driving around in this, you could use those mirrors to check your blind spots before you back up and, uh, you know, run over a sibling. Coming around the other driver's side, of course, it's all the driver's side, as only the driver fits in here. You can see when we come around to the back, there's a really nice carbon fiber plastic spoiler. The license plate says Model S, but you can actually get custom license plates made for this, and this will come off, and you can put whatever you want on here. This model is a P90D. I think they only come in P90D. Um, I'm, I haven't seen the 100Ds. You can get other colors though as well. There are plenty of colors to choose from. So going into the trunk, of course the trunk works. You can just open this up and it stays open for you or it's supposed to. Oh, I have it. I'm actually uh, downhill right now, so I have to hold it open. But you can see that this is our battery here. It comes outside of the car. You can just pull this out and and just like a real Tesla, there is a standard range and a long range battery that you can buy if you wanna be able to just swap these out to keep the fun going. And over here is a speed switch. So there's normal mode and there's ludicrous mode. They don't actually call it that. But number one is the normal speed and number two is the fast speed that actually maxes at six miles per hour, which for this little thing is just insane and ridiculous. That is really fast. Of course, we can't forget the charging port here. Again, just like on a real car on the driver's side right here. It opens up and you can see this is where you plug in. Also the battery, you can take the battery out and it has these same ports. So if you wanna charge the battery outside of the car, you can do that as well. So going into the interior, you can see there is one seat here, but it does look like an actual Tesla seat. There are no door pockets, just like an actual Model S, you get no storage over here, which is nice that they stayed true to that. The horn actually works. This is your headlights button. As you saw earlier, the headlights are actually on. This is your forward and reverse over here. So to go forward and then to go reverse, of course, if we push the pedal, you can hear all the power, that electric torque. Uh, it is very torquey. I actually did ride it around a little bit in the basement. It was able to carry me just fine, which uh, I couldn't believe. And uh, it did really well. Also on the interior, you can see we have the performance pedal and then something that is just kind of above and beyond that I wouldn't expect. There is an aux input here, so you can play music through the little sound system here. You can see behind here, there's a spot to put, you know, an MP3 player or a phone, which my child will not be having a phone at three years old, but you know, some people are into that. And you can plug in your music and play that as you're driving around. Okay, so here it is. I've plugged in the phone and I've put it into, you know, the little area there. And then you can just be driving around. 
with that uh, plan. One more interior note, there is a nice Tesla logo on the floor that you can see there. It's uh, pretty hard to see. You can actually see through the floor here. I don't know if this is coming through, but there are little holes here. I assume that's just so water wouldn't collect in here or things like that. Um, but that's how it looks. You may be able to buy uh, some attachments. There were a lot of different options on the website for this thing. You could buy all kinds of different attachments. The car came pretty much pre-assembled. There wasn't much you need to do. Uh, I did see you can take these rims off, which they're on here, so I don't really want to take them off. Um, but they came on. They were on the car when I took it out of the box. The only things I had to do was I had to put the battery in, and also the seat was not in the car, so I installed the seat, which was just as simple as inserting it and clicking it in, and then the steering wheel. So the steering wheel only has one cable that you connect, and then you can just push the steering wheel in, and now you can see here that it controls the front tires, no problem, that's very easy. So putting it together took maybe five minutes, if that, very simple. All right, so let's get this thing in the garage, plug it in, and try out the charging. All right, so we're in the garage. Hope the lighting is okay, and don't mind the mess, but you know, it's a garage, who cares? So here is our Tesla mobile charger that comes with the car. So I'm just gonna plug that into our NEMA 515 outlet, and then you can see there's a red light, looks a little orange through the camera, but it is definitely a red light appearing on the charger now. Okay, so I have the charger in the car. I'm just gonna leave it sitting there. And we can take this and plug it in. And now our charger has turned to a green blinking light. So the car is charging. This is, just, it's wild. This is wild to see, you know, this little kid's toy and it is just so true to life. If we open the trunk here, now you can see the battery also is blinking because it is charging. So we're plugged in, if I unplug here, the blinking stops and that's where the battery is. So for storage, you know, batteries are best kept at 50%, so if I click that, you can see we're a little below 50%, so I may charge it up a bit um, for storage, since again, my little baby won't be using this for a while, but that should be no problem. This will be a nice decoration for me uh, in the basement until my baby is ready to use it. Just in case you're not familiar with Tesla and you're looking to get this as a toy for your kid, here is on the right, the lit up in green, the actual charger for the car next to the toy charger right there. And you can see that it goes into my car right at the same spot. So it is the exact same setup. You can see it opens differently, but on the Model S, uh, it opens the exact same as the toy. It opens out instead of up. I mean, even the charging wand is like the same. <laughs> it's just a mini version of it. It does not say Tesla on it, but it's like the same shape. Even the shape of this gray here is kind of embedded in the plastic in the top there. So that is pretty wicked. And just for fun, looking down into the real charger on the left and the toy charger on the right. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. So just quick final thoughts. This thing is pretty wicked. It's just so true to the actual car. I mean, when you take like close up pictures of this, you almost can't tell that it's a toy, uh, depending on what parts you look at. And if the pictures are kind of like a decent quality and they're really close, it looks like an actual real car. It's just so fun that they added all the little quirks of a Tesla, the frunk, the charging port is in the same spot. The charger looks exactly the same. It's of course run off batteries, just like a Tesla, although they're hot swappable, which you of course can't do in an actual Tesla. But this thing is great as far as price goes. Uh, I don't know, because it was a gift and I didn't want to look it up, <laughs> but um, it's probably pretty expensive. But it's really fun. I think that, you know, when my daughter's a little older, she will have a ton of fun with this and I cannot wait uh, for her to drive around in her little Tesla and I'm driving around in my full Tesla. That's just gonna be, that's gonna be so fun. So thanks for checking this one out. If you have any questions about anything I didn't cover, uh, just leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you down there. Thanks for watching and you will see me in the next video. Welcome to the end of the video. If you're new here, at the end of all of my videos, I answer a question from the comments. And I figured on this video, I may get some people that are brand new to Tesla. So I thought this would be a great question. It was asked to me a while ago, but I haven't forgotten it. Does this car use gas at all or just electric? Uh, now, if you're a regular to my channel, that may seem ridiculous, but there are a lot of people that actually don't know that. There are people that I personally have talked to that were surprised the Model S was fully electric just due to how big the car is. Well, you can see I had a back and forth with this person, but the answer is that Teslas are 100% electric. Tesla does not make any cars that run on gas or hydrogen or anything but pure electricity. If you have any more questions about Tesla, charging times, where to charge, how to charge, things like that, feel free to ask down in the comments or direct message me and I would be happy to answer those questions for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one.